Hi, Sirius Bruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 89. You can see, well, I have, it's been a day since last episode, and I've produced enough mana to complete the challenge, so here we go. Dragon Challenge 2 completed. What's the reward? Increase non-unique buildings production based on the amount of grand balance targets. Does not suffer from ascension penalties. Well, that's kind of weak because it's only non-unique buildings. So that's kind of useless reward anyway. And then here is another challenge that I think I should try to do here. It's just, I just need 5,500 excavations, completion of some challenges, have a combined total playtime of eight time, eight days between Faceless and Dragons with a minimum of two days each. I think I've been Faceless for more than two days, but... I mean, I'll just enter the channel. I can probably go here. I mean, this is probably why people were saying this reincarnation is important. Or, I mean, I guess you could do it last reincarnation. I already have 6,000 excavations, so that's not a problem. So we are just going to abdicate, and I think we just need to be faceless here. Um, yeah, faceless and dragon. So it's this really is going to be easier than... I mean, if worse comes to worst... I'll also, like, b before I do that... Um, what bloodline do I need to have? Um, it doesn't say anything here, so I guess I can just be any bloodline. But if worse comes to worse, I just have to wait a few days. So, and I think I have been faceless for two days. I think I have seen, like, you know, a little bit of plot stuff. So I'm, I think, I think all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to do the regular build just because I think that's what probably works best i'm guessing like this is you know this would normally be the time if you're playing optimally to grind some spell tiers but yeah anyway i completed this challenge also got me a trophy well, actually oh it, this is not the challenge thing it's discover all the dragon researches what it's this one what did i need i just needed a thousand base assistance i forgot faceless was so good with assistance um it's you can increase the production of unique buildings based on the amount of assistance you want. Well, I own a ridiculous amount of assistance right now, um, but this would be actually a really amazing research here, like to use in a normal build. So it looks like it's going to be another kind of drought from researches. That that's that's what I seem to be getting. Even, even with this build, I'm able to you know hit E50 gems, even though I'm in like the wrong faction. So this is. Faction coin find chance from a value mutation becomes multiplicative with increased effects. I guess this just means I get more faction coins. That's I think that's what it boils down to. And I mean I'm I'm kind of tempted to just you know get some researches here just to see if I can get even more like assistance or anything. But I don't know why I'm even thinking of this. I mean there probably is something. That is, you know, like, really good. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I I mean, look at this. Even with, with this build, I'm able to reach E53 gems. I don't know. I think I'm just doing this for, for fun, just to see, you know, how OP I can actually, you know, get here. It doesn't... I don't know. I, I guess I, I don't... It's not even important. I'll just get this and call it a day. And I, I guess I could reincarnate and... Now that I have all these challenges completed, and I guess another trophy unlocked, I wonder what this is. It's probably another, you know, research thing later on. I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, I could I could try to get some buildings trophies if I wanted, but I don't really need that at this point. I will just reincarnate, and I don't think there's anything really interesting that's going to happen in the next few reincarnations. Especially considering it says I've unlocked all of the dragon researches. So... This probably means I may do a, like, a little build swap, like, in reincarnation, like, 58 or so. Or even just next reincarnation. Or even just now, actually. So if I'm doing it now, I guess I can, you know, I'm gonna abdicate again. I know, this is stupid. And I'll just be in the right faction, which is, um... I mean, actually, some people say to go faceless. I think I might have saw that, but I'm like, I don't want to change the build that much. Seriously, I think it's probably more effort than it's worth. 
Especially if this is only going to carry me to Reincarnation 60, which is, like, you know, the next um, thing. So I'm just, I'm just going to load up this build for now, um, just to see what I currently have here. And, and I'll just see, like, you know, once I get all the dragon stuff, the new research is, it's only these three. It's only things that are 1450 and up. Because the last build I made, Reincarnation 53, where this is probably at, like, 1430 or something. So, it's this one, which is really good. This one I cannot get, unfortunately. Maybe this is why people say to go faceless. Um, and then there's this one, which is, it's, um, I mean, it's 370%, but it's based in time spent being neutral in this Reincarnation. There may be better ones. There's also this one, but... I don't think that is really that important. I don't know. I, I guess it really depends on... I'm actually going to check the formula on this just to see what a normal reincarnation would hold with this. Because I'm guessing like, there is like 45% here and 31%. Like if this can even just pass like 30%, this could... Well, I, actually maybe I should, you know, activate all spells first and, you know... Get a couple of, like, you know, spell tier upgrades and all that. And, and I guess just get all of these just to see, like, what I even do get at first here. So, yeah, this is still 31%. So, yeah, we're just going to look at the formula for this. Okay, I took a look at the formula, and it is not worth going for. At, if at, if it, the reincarnation took 10 minutes to, um... Like, if I was neutral in the reincarnation for 10 minutes, this would be at 6%. If, it, if I was neutral for 20 minutes, it would be at 10%. And if I was neutral for, like, an hour, it would be 23%. So, yeah, I would need to be really... I mean, maybe if I'm doing it for a long time, I could swap out 135 with 1500. But that's probably not really going to happen. And there are definitely better ones. Or just, yeah, getting this. I think the only change I'm going to make is just something um, to this 1450 here. Um, like, let's see. This is 75%. It's not great. A spell duration one, I'm not sure how good this is. Um, 389%. Um, this is... This seems like a powerful max mana one, so... I don't know. I'm not sure... I guess I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna swap 135 with 1450. It's actually it's re really not that much of a change. Like all I'm gonna do is just, you know, load templates. And oops. Um, I guess I can you know save this, export, load, and then well actually before I do that I need to abdicate. Of course, of course I need to do something like that, and then. Do the, you know, the usual here. And, you know, just do, do the normal run. This is what they look like. You know, get all the buildings. Okay, here we go. Um, research. We do this, and then we swap. It, I have to go all the way down to S, unfortunately, which is the first branch. And instead of getting S135, I literally have to, have to get rid of the first research in the entire list. I do S1450. Um, S1450, um, and I guess I can try to copy this, just so I don't, um, yeah, let's do that, and you can see it's not, not doing S135, oops, wanted the gold here, and get this, um, load template, hopefully it is, you know, doing the S1450 here, um, 1450, boom, and I think this is our best build here. I don't, I don't really see much of an improvement I can make on this build. I mean, unless I go to a completely different faction, but I think already from before, this is powerful enough to, especially if I get like you know good luck with Dragon's Breath and and I optimize Lightning Strike, which maybe I can show you like later on in Reincarnation 59. Um, I'll show you like how to just optimize it for getting it to land on Worms Den, or like instead of waiting um, like many minutes, it's just many seconds. If you get what I mean there. So yeah, um, 
I will, well, I need to save this as something. A1R55 druid line. All right. If I really want to just, I just, I'll just do drag tan build. Like, do I really need to? I mean, I know this naming is so inconsistent, but I'm like, do I really need to know my bloodline here? I don't think so. It's pretty obvious I go druid line with basically all of these. So, yeah, seeing a, well, more than just a bit, seeing a few reincarnations. Okay, I'm back in reincarnation number 59, and you can see, well, I can unlock lineages in the next reincarnation, but that'll, that'll be next episode. Um, because, yeah, we still have some stuff to do. First, we have this challenge, and you can see centuries ago, the dragon race managed to talk about an absolute pinnacle of wealth, scattered in the stars, help them establish a stronger connection with the void between the realms, and all I need is the dragon faction, reincarnation 57 plus, I'm 59, so I'm good, 46 artifacts, if you go here, I have a total of 50 artifacts, so I'm good there, and then completion of the other challenges, yeah, I'm good, and then have at least 8,000 worm stens and four dragon's breaths active at the same time. So, right now I have, well, I can see how many worm stens I have. It's more than 8,000. And you can see how many, you know, dragon's breath I have active. It's three. And the reason why I don't have four is I just need to get this upgrade. And I'm already halfway there. I'm good with diamond coins. All I need is the dwarven and drow coins. Which I have, you can see I need about 3.2 E19, and I have like 1.7 E19. I can also get these little upgrades, and they don't really cost a lot of faction coins. This will help me progress further. Right now, I'm actually really struggling to get that lightning strike going. I I found a fundamental flaw with the, the way I like did it, because the thing is, every time I would get a tier upgrade, it would actually, um, if I wanted to activate it again, it would... Um, or if I wanted to activate it after I bought the tier upgrade, it would, you know, it, it would activate again. And, like, if Worm's Den was, like, let's say number one here, it would just, like, pass through it. So, I can't, can't really plan it out like that. And I do have a nice red, green, blue here, and that's kind of, I mean, that's enough to get me from E54 to E56. I think I will try to, you know, get the lightning strike going, but this will be after I just complete this one challenge. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, here we go. We can finally get this upgrade, which means, boom, dragon challenge four completed, and let's see what the reward is. It is faction coins from excavations are increased based on the amount of artifacts we own, and it's E10 times. Oh my god, that, that could actually be, I mean, I max purchase, you know what, I could reset if I want, I could do that free reset, but you can see, it's getting me E20 faction coins, which is enough to, you know, actually, yeah, this is, and I just got spell cataclysm, I'm not even sure how, um, have four spells active on tier five or higher, oh, so it's a spell tier thing, and Multiply can be increased max mana by 25%. That's that's OP. I, I don't even know what that costs. But yeah, I got that trophy. And there we go. Yeah, this reward is an OP reward. Because it's making it's making excavations actually useful again. You know, I can actually get like I can you know I can Royal Exchange right now. I have like almost 500 of the Royal Exchanges. Then I can, you know, I can excavate and um, get even more, actually, well, okay, it, well, m things, I don't, I don't know, I, I actually, no, the multiplier, I, for, I forgot to tell, to show you, there's another OP multiplier of faction coins that I already had, which was in the reincarnation power, it was, you could see, um, here, or actually, maybe it's better just to go here, um, it multiplies faction coins based on the reincarnation's made if they match your faction or bloodline and i'm titan faction druid bloodline and well also dragon faction so i think what this does is it's like it gives me it's multiplying all of these by 86 times which also this looks like a cpu architecture it's weird coincidence but i think it'll just be one more run until i get all the way to the next reincarnation i'll 
I'll show you how, you know, the the planning fails. Like what I what I originally was showed or what I was saying before is like, you know, I can can see Iron Stronghold in three times. So I can, you know, I can do this once. I can stop the auto casting. And I just do I just do a run as normal. So we just get, you know, the researches. We get this and activate Dragon's Breath. And the thing is here Worm's Den is, is two from now. However, if I just, you know, max everything, I'll go straight past it. I mean, I guess I can use this double the second tier, um, but that's about it. I mean, this is, I mean, this is good. It's a 12 times boost, but like at like five tiers, it's like a something like a 3,000 times. Boost. Okay, I mean, I actually, yes, 3,000, not 300, 3,000 times boost. And yeah, it, it can get OP. And I have also decent Dragon's Breath things. I should, you know, I could even try to re, I should have reset my activations last time. But anyway, I still, still have enough to, you know, get a fourth thing here. Um, for everything except blue. And yeah, I, I I'm already have enough gems. And I can do this. You can see now this is, yes, 3,000 times boost. It's currently targeting Olympian Hall. Not quite. But anyway, we have enough to reincarnate. This will be next episode because I think this may be one of the biggest changes to how, you know, the game works. I'm not sure. Like right now, I've really discovered that Ascension 1 is really just similar to, very similar to the second half of Ascension Zero. I don't see, the last really fundamental change to Realm Grinder has been Researches Reincarnation 16. Like nothing else, like yes, neutral Researches, I guess I can use other factions. I got a new faction, the Dragon, um, and everything, and Ascension was just nerfed a bunch of upgrades, that's really all it did, um, and I guess, Get like you know started getting new upgrades and all that but didn't really feel like a fundamental shift in how the game worked but maybe this time it will be a fundamental change i mean it's a completely like new word i've never you know used lineages like <laughs> i mean i guess dragons was kind of a new i don't know but it seems like a big new mechanic so stay tuned for next episode hope you enjoyed Peace out.